Hello everyone, welcome to Epic Horror Fans, I'm JT is Reborn, here with Spider Jack Angel, and tonight we're going to be talking about Hannibal, Season 1, a show that both of us really enjoyed, um, Season 2 is premiering this week, so we thought we'd, you know, let everyone hear our thoughts on Season 1 before the new season comes out, kind of catch you up on it, so, that being said, I'm going to bring it over to Spider Jack over here, and Spider Jack, what did you think of Season 1 of Hannibal? Well, at first it was start off a little bit slow, but it got going faster than Bates Hotel. <laughs> Burn. It, re it really did. I, I mean, I remember that our other member of Epic Horror Fans, Sexy Danny Twenty One Awesome, really liked Bates Hotel. But I'm sorry, Hannibal takes the cake. It it really is a freaking awesome show. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the lead actors in the show really do a phenomenal job. Both of them are bringing their A game, and I have to say, Lawrence Fishburne is downright hysterical at times in the show. Use the ladies' room. <laughs> Dude, Lawrence Fishburne's not awesome. Just say that to me. Lawrence Fishburne's an awesome Jack Crawford. Um, I think the best actor in the show, um, not Hannibal, but Hugh Dancy is Will Graham. I think he does yeah, the best yeah. job. You know, he actually has a lot of tough shoes to fill because before him we had Edward, Edward Norton, Norton and, and then, then before him we had um, William Peterson, who is a phenomenal actor as well. He did a lot of seasons of CSI, and, and you know, he had pretty big shoes to fill, but he made the character really his own. And even the first episode, I liked how his character basically was able to see the crime scene and then, you know, envision himself basically being the one that has committed these crimes and, you know, I thought it was just really good. It really engaged me in from the beginning episode and I have to say Hannibal is one crafty SOB. Oh yeah, Mads Mikkelsen Milkson, or however you say his name he does a pretty good job. I, he's not my favorite Hannibal. Anthony Hopkins is just so well known with the role. But I think Mads does his own take, and I really like how sophisticated he is. This is the side we really yeah, haven't I mean, seen Yeah, I mean, you could Hannibal. almost look at this particular vision of Hannibal as like a continuation of Hannibal Horizon. I, I mean, in an essence, because we're dealing with, you know, about the same equivalent here. This is before, Red you Dragon. know, Will actually catched Hannibal. This is, you know, when Hannibal basically first got introduced to Will Graham. I mean, this is a completely, you know, different type of Hannibal right now, but it's still the Hannibal character that we know and love from the films. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, yeah, so, in case you people don't know, this, we'll go over the plot briefly of this season. I mean, I'm sure most people know who Hannibal is. Um, mm -hmm. We should, I don't know if we should spoil kind of the end. Well, season two is coming up, but I think everyone already knows, so. Yeah. We'll, we'll just go over the plot. Basically, the plot of this deals with... I'm just going to read the back. FBI agent Will, because it's easier. FBI yeah. agent Will Graham, Hugh Dancy, hunts the most notorious serial killers. Graham is both gifted and cursed with extraordinary ability. He can think like he's prey. Basically, you know, he sees the crime scene. Um, mm -hmm. What he doesn't know is that his new partner is the most notorious serial killer of all. While pursuing an especially troubling cannibalistic murderer, Special Agent Jack Crawford teams Graham with a highly respected psychiatrist, a.k.a. Hannibal Lecter, who, as we know, is the killer. I think that's basically Will's trying to catch a killer that's right in front of him. And that's what makes it so awesome, because the whole audience knows, okay, when's he going to do it? When's he going to do it? It leaves you in a lot more suspense than, okay, who's the killer? Who's it going to be? Now that you know who it is, it's just like, oh, shit. You, everyone can see what he's doing, and it just makes you want to jump in there and be like, no, that's him. Stop him. Yeah, but... Let's just throw out there. This show does a really good job at misdirections as well. Like the, you know, main killer that we all get revealed to be Hannibal because Hannibal's killer the name. Chesapeake I, Bay, the Chesapeake Bay Ripper. The Chesapeake Bay Ripper. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I actually thought was a completely different, you know, killer altogether. But however, the time where it was revealed that it was Hannibal was, was right when he got pissed off when they revealed that little information, you know, mm -hmm. and it was right then and there you, you knew it was Hannibal. But even then, you know, I like the fact that you didn't know it was him 100%, but you knew Hannibal was a killer, you knew what type of killer he was, and let's face it, between me and you, if he didn't tell me what he put into that thing, or at least I couldn't figure out what he, you know, like made for food? dinner most of the time, it looks fucking awesome. Oh yeah, the food looked pretty good. <laughs> 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 well, the people I, I watched the special features, and they said they had to make like how they crafted the food. And, like we we know that the actors aren't even like real people, yeah, so they yeah, they have but... a chance to like really enjoy it. And a lot of it was kind of like uh, I think it was like sweets type food. It was like kind of like a cake type mixture. It was it was kind of like breaded. It really necessarily wasn't like all these fancy like meat cuisines and stuff because people had allergies. But everyone said the food was really good. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, there was this one thing on one of the Facebooks where basically they did the cooking with Hannibal, and I thought that was just downright awesome. <laughs> they just basically showed, like, Hannibal preparing different hors d'oeuvres, food, and then all of a sudden they just showed, like, some people he killed. I mean, mm -hmm. that just sums Hannibal up there, and oh, yeah. on top of that, I like the fact that this show really does have a dark tone to it, but it fits the show. It's not trying to be dark just to be dark like some shows do. This show is actually a dark show that fits the tone of the show and fits, you know, every mood that the characters are in rather than just trying to be something that it is not. Mm -hmm, absolutely, absolutely. And basically what happens in the show, people, um, the first episode, like, Will and them all come together. Hannibal basically wants to see, he wants to screw with things because he wants to know the results of them. And he basically, when they're tracking down this one serial killer um, named Garrett Jacob Hobbs, Hannibal calls ahead of time, he's like, they know. And so Garrett Jacob Hobbs kills his wife in front of him and he like slits his daughter's throat, but she survives and she becomes like the focus of the show. Abigail, that's her name. Mm -hmm. And then H Hannibal pretty much like was playing everybody at the same time to see if he can have like maybe like a family of his own, like a weird psychopathic family, he pretty much takes the girl under his wing. But we also get to see the downfall of Will Graham, Will Graham is all these crimes, since he can imagine them in his head, they take a mental toll on his brain, and he's not able to like see reality. And you really feel for Will Graham in the show. Like in the movies, I didn't really feel for Edward Norton as much as I did Hugh Dancy in the show. I mean, that's because they didn't have as much time to really develop it and really see the downfall, but they just did Will's kind of, like, downfall. Like, him just, his whole mental structure just collapses until, like, like the season finale where he's finally starting to make sense of things. Yeah, well, to be fair to the movie Red Dragon, they did pretty much make a pretty faithful adaptation of the Oh, movie. it's a good movie. I mean, it's better than Hannibal, like, in Hannibal Rising, I think. I put it, like, number two. Well, uh, we all have our different Hannibal tastes, and, you know, that's not really in question right here. Right now, we're talk you know, talking about the series, and the series is awesome. Yeah, I was, I was going by the movies, but, yeah, we're talking about the series. We all have our own <laughs> different tastes as Hannibal. Yeah. But, yeah. Like Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that final shot of, like, the season is such a powerful shot. Like, basically, Hannibal, like, walks up, goes down to this, you have the, like, special shot in the Hannibal series that people are known for, going down to different jail cells, and instead of seeing Hannibal, you see, like, Spoiler alert here, people, for those of you who haven't seen, you see Will Graham in the cell, and that was pretty cool. But, like, when I first saw it, I was pissed off because I heard they may have not been able to renew it. I'm like, no, 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 I really like this show. It's like you well, and your Lost Girl show. to be show. fair, yeah, I was going to say, I, I'm, I'm exactly on that page right now. <laughs> I'm experiencing, uh, this is not horribly, but I'm experiencing completely, uh, breakdown with Lost Girl right now and I, I feel exactly what you probably did with Hannibal and, but we got but, a second season <laughs> but the thing is with Hannibal that is really good as well is that they get away with showing you stuff that you wouldn't really think that they would show you on television <laughs> oh, yeah. like the part with the violin like my favorite episode oh, is my. 
<laughs> where this, they play the throat like with the violin. Yeah. There was a lot of really brutal stuff on the show that they were able How to get. How about the guy that gets uh, dissected while he's still half conscious? How about the guy who, like whose like skin is ripped up and made to look like an angel? <laughs> or the the, oh, the, the guy tongue? that has his tongue like <laughs> this is like. I remember I posted that on Facebook. I was like, "What the fuck, Adam? What's going on here?" <laughs> oh yeah, they get away with a lot of dark stuff, and a lot of things I do like is they actually don't just—it's not just about Hannibal. They actually go and solve like the crimes of other serial killers, and Hannibal's yeah. kind of longer for the ride. And I think the best episode in my eyes is the one where he has the duel with the other serial killer. That's just like—that's oh, yeah. just an awesome moment. He's just like fighting Tobias. He's like, ah. Eh, eh. You son of a bitch. I think probably the thing that I appreciate with the show the most as well has to be the cast in Hannibal Shrink. Julian Anderson. Gillian Anderson from Xbox. Yeah, Gillian Anderson. I, I, sorry. I, Whatever, you, however you say your name. Yeah, however you pronounce the name. Badass cast. In I mean, and then not to mention, the casting call we got for season two? Holy shit! I mean, I, good I, God, man. <laughs> this, I, just, this, I can't wait for season two. I, I, I know. It's just like, it's just like, dude, that trailer was fucking awesome. I'm trying like, not to watch too much of the trailers because for TV shows and movies, it's a little different. I like to be, like, really surprised. Like, they were, they already have, like, the opening clip of, like, season two online. I didn't oh, watch. Oh, I haven't watched that either. Yeah, I like, actually just watched the clips that I just basically showed you in terms of trailer and that stuff, but mm -hmm. it, it's an awesome show. Yeah, I want to be surprised when it, it airs this Friday. What time is it air? 10? Yeah. <sighs> so giddy. Yeah, 10. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be pretty awesome. I, if I'm unable to watch it when it airs, you know, because of other things, I definitely do plan on trying to find it immediately online on the website right after it airs, because Hannibal is a must-show to watch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over the episodes. I mean, if you can, pick up this DVD. You can get it for, like, 15 bucks or something. Yeah, I got the Blu-ray. But Actually, just to throw this out there, everyone, I was going to buy the movie Carrie on Blu-ray, but instead I picked up the Blu-ray of Hannibal for 15 bucks at Target. So, Lucky dog. I had a I picked this up at Best Buy. I got it for like ten, but that's because I had a rewards on coupon. But yeah, Hannibal, awesome show, awesome show all around. Yeah, there's Mads. Yeah, some of these episodes, like the first one's pretty good. The second, it the, just kept getting better. The only episode I did not like in terms of pacing was the episode that dealt dealt with the reveal of Abigail Hobbs. Like, I, I didn't care for that one that mm -hmm. much. It was okay, but I thought the pacing was a little off here and there. Mm -hmm. Also, they include the episode that wasn't seen on TV because it came out, I think, at the same time as... Like a, because it involved kids. I think they cut it for some reason. But um, Well, it involved a kid that like was, basically was being told to murder his parents and, and stuff like that. Stuff like it wasn't that bad though. Yeah, I human mean, totem poles, those are okay. Kids murdering people, I guess. And the, I'm just gonna it. throw this out there. NBC, Sons of Anarchy showed a kid walk into a school with a gun. Don't don't pull that shit again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think it would no, um Brad, Brian Fuller pulled it on purpose. He's like it wasn't like appropriate at the time, I think that was the reason, but yeah, if anyone gets the time, I say check Hannibal Season 1 out. Sorry, it's not on Netflix, people. You actually have to go and maybe purchase it for like 10 bucks. But it's definitely a yeah, must. Just, actually, just purchase it. I'm telling you right now, I'm sure JT is reborn for back me up on this. Purchase Hannibal Season 1. You will not be disappointed. If you're a Hannibal fan, you'll love it. It's it's a really good show, and hopefully season two, which just just the only thing I can advise is this: is that if you're like you said, if you're a Hannibal fan, you'll love it, but do not go in there watching it thinking you're going to get something like Anthony Hawkins, you know, portray Hannibal. You gotta basically take Anthony Hawkins, you know, out of the role as Hannibal in your mind to really enjoy this adaptation of Hannibal because mm -hmm. 
It is the same type of character, but yet played by a completely different actor. And he, he doesn't have the same voice. He's just like... <laughs> he has like that accent on him. And, but he's really more... I think he's a lot more like sophisticated than Anthony yeah. Hopkins was. Anthony Hopkins was pretty much playing the monster the whole time because he was in the monster mode. We didn't really get to see the full-blown monster. We got teases of it in this season. I think next season, when he finally gets... When he might get put in the jail cell, that's yeah, when we well, really get the full blown monster. Well, uh, and just to throw this out there, you know, here's Hannibal Rise. I actually own pretty much every Hannibal really is stuff except Manhunter, which is a shame. And then here's Sons of the Lamb. That one's awesome. Hannibal. Red Dragon. Red like. Dragon. You gotta pick up Manhunter, man. Yeah, I, I'll probably try to pick them all up on Blu-ray. Yeah, I gotta pick up those movies, too. Sounds of Lambs, I really, really like. Buffalo. I, I, I know this show, they don't have the rights to Clarice Starling yet, but maybe eventually they will. Yeah, I just, because Brian Fuller said he wanted to bring in Clarice. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't want them to get rid of Will Graham because I like him so much. Uh, let me just throw this out there. For those of you that read the book of uh, Hannibal, you know, first book, Red Dragon. I don't want to see Will Graham dealt away with the same way he was in the book because the fact that in the in the book he does kind of become a little disfigured in the end, but I, I just don't want to see that because I <laughs> would like to see more of a. Uh, we lost him. Like the Galen and the Red Dragon film, but yet at the same time, I wouldn't mind him getting. What? Could you say that again? Uh, you cut off when you said you wouldn't mind Will Graham. You don't want to see the ending. I don't want to see the same ending that I read in the book. I want to see a completely different ending to his character. Okay, okay, not the like depressing disfigurement thing. But I don't, yeah. I don't think they're gonna go that way since they don't right now have the rights. I think they might like incorporate the sounds of the lamb elements into well, by using Will Graham, which I'm fine with because. We did a yeah. bit, like, Clarice in the movies, and maybe change it up a little bit. I don't know, but I just can't wait for season two. I'm just all giddy like a small school child, especially after, since I'm a wrestling fan, I watched the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, and it really pissed me off, so. Yeah, we, of course, you know, I, I got to look for something else as well. Lost Girl fan, I was disappointed in that fucking finale on, uh, last week, Jesus. I'm sorry, Spider-Jack, I'm sorry. But anyways, um, that's pretty much all we're gonna, like, tell you. Um, check it out, there's, like, pretty much a different serial killer for every episode. Um, Eddie Izzard also does a good job as Dr. Gideon, like, this really creepy guy. Handle just the way he prepares the food. His chemistry with, with Will Graham is really good. Because, like, he wants Will Graham to be his friend. It's not like he's trying, like, in a Red Dragon, where he just wants to fucking kill Will Graham. He well, even in Red Dragon, he considered him actually a friend. I mean, even when you're reading the book, he considered him actually a friend. But he also considered him a person that he really just wants to screw with. Because <clears throat> mm -hmm. he's you an know? asshole. That's, that's, <laughs> that's him. <laughs> Hannibal is an asshole. But anyway, that's going to wrap he, it he's up. A, he's not really an asshole. He's a person that has a unique taste. And if he's willing to prolong a life by experimenting what you would do as a human being, then I think that you should be a little bit grateful because, as we all know, Anvil kills the rude. That's true. That's true. Anyways, I think that should we pretty much got our thoughts out right now. That's going to wrap it up for this little... Uh, rating. Rating? Anvil Season 1? I'd say a 9 out of 10. I would give it about a... Eight. I, I, I'm given about an eight just because of the fact that there were a couple of pacing issues. Yeah, that's the same reason. Cause, and I, I just think every episode was pretty much really well crapped, and there were some pacing issues. That's why, you know, now that I think about it, 8.75. Yeah. 8.75. That's, that's That seems pretty good. Maybe season two is going to be a little more quicker paced. Um, I will admit that when I saw the ending to season one, I was upset. But now that season two is out, I'm no longer upset. <laughs> Yeah, I hope they got on the same way. <laughs> yeah, but but it's a really powerful ending, and 
it's emotionally driven, I think. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Spider Jack, thank you for joining me. Um, Epic Horror fans, we're back doing some more stuff. Um, I haven't done horror movie in a week because I did like 20 in one day, and I'm just like, I'll let that slide for a while. Yeah, I, I haven't been able to watch a horror movie for, for a while, so I, that's why I, ha I haven't done a horror movie in a week either. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. We just gotta, we gotta get some more stuff moving on this channel. But, free time's coming up a little bit more this week for me. So I might upload another thing, but really you know, what, you know what, I'm gonna say it right now. Sexy Danny 21 off is awesome. It's gonna do horror the movie of the week next, next week. Yes, next week. Because this week yeah. I'll probably do it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get him to do it. And... I have just the movie in mind for a new review. We'll surprise him. <laughs> so anyways, thank you all for watching everyone. We're Epic Core fans, JT's Reborn, Spider Jack Angel. Be sure to subscribe to his channel and Sexy Danny Twenty One Awesomes and AJ Punk Fifteens and this one and mine. Yes, I plugged mine in last, but yeah, so thank you all for watching. Spider Jack, thank you for joining me. Thumbs up everyone. Thumbs up. Hannibal season two airs. February 28th. Thank you. And it's going to be awesome. So, season two, coming at you. Sayonara.